Hello, this is Dr. Rina Ali Ray. Today I'll be discussing on probiotics. Probiotics are live bacteria and yeast that are good for our digestive system mainly. Before discussing, we must be acquainted with some probiotic facts. Actually, there are 10 times more probiotics or microorganisms than cells in our body. Probiotics live throughout our entire body, not just in our gut. So if we have 1 trillion cells in our body, the body contains about 10 trillion probiotics. At the start of the 20th century, Russian Nobel Prize winner and father of modern immunology, Eli Metkinkov, first conceptualized the term probiotics. In 1907, he proposed that the acid producing bacteria in fermented milk products could prevent the fouling in the large intestine and if consumed regularly, it will lead to a longer and healthier life. So probiotics are the good bacteria in our gut. The properties of effective probiotics are, first of all, they should be non-pathogenic, that means non-disease causing and non-toxic. They should be able to survive the passage through digestive system. They must be able to utilize the nutrients and substrates in a normal diet. They're able to attach to the intestinal epithelia and can colonize. They're able to maintain good viability. They're capable of exerting a beneficial effects on host. That means they should be advantageous in nature. They are anti-inflammatory, anti-mutagenic and immunostimulatory. The first advantage is that they are generally the producer of lactic acid. And this lactic acid lowers the pH of intestine and inhibit bacterial villains such as Clostridium, Salmonella, Shigella, E. coli, all these bad bacteria. So they can produce a wide range of antimicrobial substances like acidophylline and bacterial seam, which can help to control pathogenic bacteria. They can act as a barriers to prevent harmful bacteria from colonizing the intestine. They decrease the production of a variety of toxic or carcinogenic metabolites. They help in absorption of minerals, especially calcium, due to increased intestinal acidity. They help in the production of beta degalactosidase enzymes that break down lactose. They can produce vitamins, especially vitamin B and vitamin K. So what are the major probiotic strains? Actually, the lactobacillus species and Bifidobacterium species, these are considered to be the major probiotic strains. And we, here we can see uh, different species are involved, like uh, Lactobacillus acidophilus, L. plantarum, L. cc subspecies uh, rhamnosus, L. brevis. And in Bifidobacterium, we can see a number of species. And there are some clinical applications of probiotics. They are resistance to enteric pathogens. They help in lactose digestion. They are helping in immune system modulation. They are uh, they can resist anticolon. They are having anticolon cancer effect. They uh, can cause decreased detoxification and excretion of toxic microbial metabolites. They can manage allergy and also they can manage uh, uh, increased blood lipids and heart disease and for neutralization of dietary carcinogens. So there are, can be number of probiotic foods like cards, whey and all this. So let us uh, see some probiotic products. They are really yummy and uh, looks very tasty. Um, first of all, we are coming to yogurt. Yogurt is usually made from milk, rarely from cream, inoculated with Streptococcus thermophilus and either Lactobacillus acidophilus or Lactobacillus bulgaricus. They are actually Turkish in origin, 
uh, available in innumerable forms and flavors uh, uh, with low fat chocolate yogurt. They may be drinkable fruit flavored goat yogurt or a neon colored yogurt in sweets tubes. So they're very uh, attractive and uh, they're palatable. And the major action is they can soothen the digestive system. The bacteria present in this yogurt can soothen our digestive system. Now we are coming to juice. Different types of juice of different colors, different varieties. So our first probiotic juice was launched in the fall of 2007. And some organic fruit juice based probiotic beverages are there which contains lactobacillus plantarum. And this has effects on irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, different added flavors are present include brilliant blueberry, peach mango and strawberry rose ship. So from here we can understand that how palatable and how attractive they are. Now, Yakul dairy drink. This is probiotic cultured dairy beverage. This has high, it has citrus fee flavor. It is sold in single shot containers that contain around 8 billion live and active lactobacillus cc serota cells per bottle. Uh, not only the food products, there are probiotic skincare products. Here we can see some skincare products. And this probiotic stabilizes microflora on skin. It increases uh, certain probiotic strains in skin from environmental stresses, soothe skin, and improve moisture retention. But there are some side effects of probiotics. Uh, uh, first of all, rare cases cause bloating, diarrhea, or abdominal pain. If in excess uh, amount is consumed, it may cause infection that requires medicinal attention, medical attention. People having an underlying disease or compromised immune system cause potential health problems like skin rash, fever, bloody stools, etc. Sometimes interact with immunosuppressive drugs and it leads to life-threatening conditions, but it is very rare. So people taking such drugs should avoid uh, this type of uh, probiotic. Now there are several future prospects of this probiotics. First of all, the future of probiotic foods are even promising as modern consumers owe it to maintain their personal health. Uh, it is found that propionobacteria have probiotic potential, a new addition. The indigenous microbiota and its potential to exhibit probiotic properties. Metagenomics is used as a tool for discovery of new probiotics and prebiotics. Emerging applications of established probiotics are growing and applications of probiotics and prebiotics in infant development is also there. So this is all about the probiotics, the good bacteria which can help our digestive system, which can help our skin and entire body. That means these bacteria are helping for the well-being of ourselves. So this is all about uh, the probiotic and thank you.